Hi everybody, today we're gonna review this Hamdox backpack that I got off of Amazon. It was a really cool backpack. I wanted something to be small and carryable and looks cool. And I got this one. This one specifically stood out to me because it had several colors and I liked the way the straps were displayed. So let's take a closer look at each part of this backpack and open it up. Okay, let's talk about the exterior. So from the exterior, we have lots of buckles everywhere. These are compression buckles. So when you have a lot of clothing or whatnot, you use these buckles to strap in the backpack so it becomes smaller. It's more easy to carry something that is smaller in that case. So this straps as tight as you want as well. And these as well. So that's what those straps are for. On the outside, we have lots of other straps. You can hook on U-locks for whatever you want, a knife, anything else. And there's a strap in here or a, another strap where you put stuff in here too. I noticed people put flashlights in here and that will work too. A top area here, you'll notice is that it's Velcro. So you can actually put small things that have Velcro on the top area. It's not that big of an area. I wish it was bigger. I like Velcro on certain areas of the bag. And this one had a little bit only. I wish it was a little bit bigger. So let's talk about the, the back side of it. On the back side of the backpack, you know it's a lot of straps and it's all compression straps and adjustment straps. At the top, these are adjustment straps to tighten or loosen this backpack. So it's not too fancy and the back has an actual hip strap as well. Not too fancy. And you could clip in and clip out of your bag. As so it's not that long from the point of my point of view, but uh, it could be a little bit longer and it has to be, yeah, it's, it's pretty big actually. So from the side, you have the strap to adjust the shoulder area here. And you have padding on this. This is very thin padding, so it's not gonna be super padded, but it's good enough to hold some weight to this bag. And it's not a very big bag, so you, you can't expect that much. Additionally, you have this back area, and it's padded, so against your back, it's gonna be padded, so you know that it's, it's against you and it's not going to push too much pressure on you. And on the back side, there's this area for your water bladder, from my understanding. And you put a water bladder here, and if the water bladder too can go through here if you want to, at the top of the, the bag, if you wanted to. From there, we'll talk about the top of the bag. The top of the bag has one handle. It's pretty small, not too big, but it's big enough to grab and carry. You have a lot of straps anyway, so you don't need that many straps. On the side of the bag, since we're already on this top, the side of the bag has areas where you can strap on anything you want, anything tall like a pole. On the other side as well, so it's both sides. Not too big of a strap, but big enough for something like a pole or a tent. Okay, let's talk about the pockets. There's several pockets to this backpack. And the first pocket is this one here. It's a medium front pocket and it opens about halfway as so shown. And this pocket has one pocket inside, several pencil pockets to put in anything long and sharp. And inside of that is just an area of, an area of about an inch of gap, so you can stuff anything you want in there. At the top, you have a smaller pack, and it's basically about a one inch gap with just no pockets. It's just an empty space, and they can open almost a clamshell, about three fourths of opening to the zipper. So this bag has a lot of compression straps, and there's a reason, because this bag has a lot of space and opened and you don't want it to take too much space when you don't use that much space. So going back to that, we have a giant zipper on the mid area, which is about three fourths of 
the backpack and it opens the one up to give you this area. And this area carries basically two things with another pocket. There's no other extra um, features in here, but it's plenty of space for anything that's about a one inch gap that's tall. It could be like a water bladder, for example. The last drop is the biggest pocket or zipper in, of this backpack, and it's a very entire bag, and it opens all the way around. It's almost, I believe it's clamshell. Let's take a look. Uh, it is clamshell, so you have a giant area for anything you want. So the first thing is this netted pocket here, so you can put in whatever loose that is in here, so you can actually put bunches of random stuff here. And the other side has one zipper pocket, and what it features is, let's open it up, a way to grab smaller things. It's about the, almost as big as this. So it's just miscellaneous things that you don't need to grab and you put in here. So a lot of this bag is the compression. It gives you a lot of ways to compress this bag and make it smaller. Definitely a good looking bag in general. If it was filled up with more stuff like uh, clothes or whatnot, it'll look better. Um, the material of the, the nylon straps are really good. So they'll hold in place and hold all your needs and keep it in place. The material of the bag itself is strong canvas. I don't know what type of material, but it feels really good and it's pretty durable. It's really solid and it's stiff. So I like that type of material for a backpack because I know that it's gonna hold up for a while. Definitely cool. There's tons of stra straps on this bag, which allows you to compress and a lot of areas of storage. Lots of pockets everywhere, big pockets that is. If you have a lot of small things, then it gives you an option to store it in the inside pouch with a zipper and a netted zipper or a covered zipper. And that's a good idea to have small knickknacks in there. So let's try to fit a MacBook Pro in here, the 13 inch version, and see how it fits. So the bag is laying down and let's put in my 13 inch MacBook Pro. And it fits just right, if you didn't notice. And the back fits a laptop like it should be there, which is nice. Though the there's no foam or anything to protect the, the PC or computer or laptop, <coughs> it's big enough to fit that and that's what I appreciate, things like that. So with the MacBook inside, you don't know what's inside if you didn't know that I told you that. So it's pretty cool that you can put a MacBook in here and it doesn't seem like you can carry a laptop or whatnot in here. Definitely a cool bag. Overall, a great looking bag with lots of compression straps. If you don't like the compression straps, you could always cut it away and it'll look pretty much the same. The main one I would keep is the one down the center because it'll compress your bag and hold everything in place. I definitely recommend this bag because of the quality, the design, the way it looks, and overall, just a great package for a backpack. I hope you like this review and thanks for watching.